Uh, this is going to be a demonstration of flying the um, Stingray uh, Collective Pitch Quadcopter, uh, including inverted flight. So what I have here is Real Flight 7.5 set up um, uh, and controlled by Idupilot using the um, helicopter quad patches uh, for the Collective Quad uh, uh, helicopters. And so I'm going to start off by arming the vehicle. All right, so it's armed. And now I'm going to start up the rotors. And it's in loiter mode. So I'll just take off. There it is, sitting in loiter. All right, so it's loitering. And there is a little bit of wobble there. That comes from the... Um, the video recording, whenever I run the video record, the, uh, the copter does tend to wobble about a little bit. All right, so I've got it there up to a height of say 12 meters. And I'll just hold it there at that height. And I've added a channel seven option for inverted flight. So basically when I flick the switch, which is assigned to the channel seven inverted flight uh, option, then the copter will then fly inverted. So I'll flick that now. There it is, it's now flying inverted. So there we have uh, Argycopter flying an inverted helicopter. And it also works with trad helis, with normal helicopters. It doesn't just work with the um, this type of one. So I'll just bring it over a little bit so it's a bit easier to see. And there it is happily hovering as an inverted helicopter. So I can take it back up a little bit. It does typically lose about four meters or so when you invert it, but sometimes it loses a little bit more. So I'll just take it up there to 12 meters and invert it the up normal, normal way again. And there it is. It's gone back to normal flight and it's sort of repositioning itself. It does tend to move about a little bit as it flips over. And so the loiter controller has to bring it back into the right position. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it inverted again. And then while it's inverted, I'm going to stick it into an auto mission. And so there it is. It's now starting an auto mission. And it's going to go fly a full auto mission with a while inverted. Now, one thing I've noticed with flying inverted missions, inverted auto missions in the, in the simulator, is if you flick the inversion switch while it's in auto, it really can confuse a navigation controller and it takes itself a few seconds to sort itself out. So I'll do that. I'll wait till it's coming back on the leg that's closer to the pilot's box so it's easier to see. And then I'll flick it back to non-inverted flight as it flies past. And you'll see that it does do some fairly crazy maneuvers as the navigation controller gets a little bit upset about the... Uh, sudden change in orientation mid-mission. We could uh, teach the navigation controller to uh, reset its integrators. Okay, ready and up, right way up. There it is. Oh, and it's recovered. And it's now continuing with the mission. And now the mission is going right way up. So it's gonna continue up there. And then on this down, with the down leg again, I will flip it upside down again mid-mission. I'll just watch how much altitude it loses. So it's currently at an altitude of 20 meters, which is the mission altitude. And it's now going down that leg and I'll flick it over. Oh, is it gonna make it back up? Yes, it did make it back up, but it almost hit the ground. So as I said, during the, while the navigation controller is in control, it really does get rather confused sometimes when you flip it upside down. So if you're trying this on your own helicopter, I would recommend you have plenty of height when you flick it to inverted. It does tend to work a little bit better um, in loiter mode. I'm going to put it into RTL. Um, all the different flight modes should work inverted, although I would suggest that landing inverted, you'd want a little bit of an extra uh, frame just to stop the propeller hitting the ground. But I'll, I'll demonstrate that now. So it's going to come in and land, and then we are probably going to destroy all four propellers while it's coming in. So halfway through the landing, we're going to flip it up the other way. Let's see what happens. So it's currently inverted. Then I'll flip it up the other way. Oh, it's just made it. There you go. It missed the ground. And now it'll continue the last part of the landing the right way up. 
course, if I tried to invert it now, it would destroy itself. All right, there it goes. And the land detector should kick in. And it's disarmed itself. Great, so there you go, inverted flight with Ardu pilot helicopters. Um, and it also works fine with a uh, trad heli, a normal helicopter. Um, and I haven't tried it with a dual heli, like a Chinook style helicopter, but uh, with an appropriate degree of collective control, it should be possible to do that as well.